Hello guys, so the guitar is back. It's painted now with this color blue. Yeah, so this is Dave Harriman's um, design as well. It's like a flame. And um, he's also the one who painted this starry night. Um, yeah, there's like a glitter as well on this black paint. It's hidden, but with the proper lighting, you can see it. And this one is uh, two designs. He did the back with this lightning. And then he Google translate that one. Panganib is a Filipino word for danger. And mataas is high. And then voltage is voltage. So it's his own idea. He's the one who painted this. And you can see the glittery rainbow effect as well. Right, the plan is these locking tuners will go on this one. And then, um, not sure yet if these stainless steel um, saddles will be using it on the bridge. And the Wilkinson pickups, I'm not sure if I'm going to buy a new one or take this one out and put in here. Because this one got the option of a humbucker single single, the same for that one. But the scratch plate or the uh, pick guard is all single coil for this one when we bought it. So yeah, another plan is the bridge will be planning to buy a decent bridge which is Wilkinson and then this one will be a bone nut customized but that's future plan I'm just excited to see how the, the guitar looks when it's put all together with the plate guard and everything and then the upgrade will come in the future but yeah we'll put oh by the way also the string tree rollers we will put it here. So the locking tuners and the string tree rollers will be put on here. And then a decent bridge. And then the pickup and probably uh, the wirings. There'll, there'll be an upgrade of, for this guitar. So it's good to know what's gonna happen with this guitar. But for now, quite happy with the design, the headstock, the paint color. And yeah. Oh, by the way, I also bought this one, a decal sticker, which will be put in here. So hang on, let's open this. So this is our decal sticker, which we are planning to stick on here somewhere. It's gonna be probably like that. Or a bit center, we'll see. Uh, so I'm, I need to cut it out and try and stick the decal sticker. I bought two so that if there's a problem, I can just remove it and then put the other one. So here's the decal sticker. I use a card to... This is an old card. It has, it's an expired card already. Are you ready? I'm gonna peel it. I hope it will work. Here we go slowly. That's it.
hello guys so this is the finished product our vrb um sort of logo there it's a decal um vinyl uh, stickers and then the headstock as planned string tree rollers and a locking tuner dave and i agreed that we're gonna call this starry night uh, when I told him about my favorite color which is blue and gray because my name uh, was taken from the song Vincent by Don McLean so starry starry night that's the first uh, line paint your palette blue and gray but we decided I told him that we'll just be painting this one uh, blue okay the next thing um, is this area here that one I hope you can see it clearly that one because it's too sharp so we've taken a piece there and it's really comfortable now for me when I'm playing on this end it's not that round but it's a lot better than the pointy bit so that's the color there's like glitter there it's hard for you guys to see it but with the proper there there's a little bit okay and then the back um i was planning to leave this open because the trouble was this one uh the block um i swapped it with my other guitar lion by washburn it's much heavier than the one that came with the kit but i thought uh it, it's this one that's the problem so i keep swapping around but now i think the hole that they made was wrong so this one is slightly on one end and if you're putting a string you'll struggle uh, removing it because it's not um, uh, in line with the holes so I was planning to just leave this one open but when I'm playing my clothing or something gets stuck or get caught inside here so I decided to just put this one I, I cut it in like three quarters and that's why it's, it looks like that so you might think that this guitar is like a Frankenstein I remove that bit I chop this bit here there on top and then our headstock and our locking tuner oh the other thing this one this is a stainless steel um, saddle um, bridge saddles the tall one screws i put it here the short ones i put it back in my other guitar line by washburn and then i put paper underneath here to elevate the neck a little bit move the neck forward and that sorted most of the things that i'm having problems so for those who are expert luthier and those who are also really good with um, uh, setting up and repairing guitars I know you will be complaining on how I DIY my my guitar but it works for me uh, I sort most of the things that needed sorting with this one I also adjusted the truss rod before but I, I really don't want to fiddle with it so yeah uh, in the future the plan is this will be a bone nut maybe the pickups will be changed at the moment i'm happy with the sound of the pickup maybe rewiring uh, pots m might be changed even this one because it's so cheap and maybe the whole bridge I'll, I'll change it it's just that my trouble is this one the hole here is like it's wrong so i don't want to invest f with a uh, uh, an expensive um, bridge and then it will just be the same problem at the back here 
as for now i'm really happy with the sound really happy with the color the setup the headstock the logo everything in, in this guitar and also it was worth mentioning shout out to blackbeard uh, this one is inspired by his uh, strat because his strat is color blue but not this blue it's a metallic blue and it's really lovely it's much expensive though and it's got the contour here a proper contour it's got a proper string tree which is fender it's also got fender locking tuners so all of the good stuff i think his uh, pickups as well there's some settings to it uh, but so for me who can't afford a proper fender quite happy with this one it really sounds like a strat it, the pickup uh, there's a nice shimmer i don't know how to explain it but you will hear the sound of this one in the near future for now i'm just excited that it's painted and it looks nice i'll, I'll put a photo i'm talking a lot at the moment but guys um i'm just sharing to you my happiness that i got this guitar so uh, see you again soon thanks for watching and god bless bye